I'm here at Occupy Monterey with Joan Channon. And Joan, I understand you are a small business owner. I, I am. I have a restaurant and I have 35 employees. And you've never been involved in anything like this before? I have not. I have not. But it's time. And so wh what brought you out here? Just the desire to see our country. I feel like we've lost our country to the corporations. And we need to take back our country. And I don't think we have any options now. That the media is owned by large corporations. That it's people like you that are really interested in our opinions. There's no way to express it at this point. So I, we need to take our country back and we have no choice but to march in the streets now. And you've never been politically involved before? No, I haven't. And so oh, I was as a ch you know, as a hippie. <laughs> back in the old days. But so what was it that cuz you you had these views, I'm sure, but I, then yes. something grabbed you and said get involved. People on the street seeing my fellow Americans on the street trying to get our country back and take it back from the corporate ownership. We've sold our country to the corporations and just seeing people on the street made me want to be a part of it. What kind of business do you own? I own a restaurant. A restaurant, okay. And so what do you, what are you calling for as a business owner? You said you were in the top maybe 5%? I think financially I'm certainly in the top 5%. Okay. I'm doing well. Yeah. And I'm happy to pay more taxes. I think our country, we need to educate our children. We need to bring things back to America, make things in America, manufacture things. And in order to do that, we're going to have to have different priorities than just making money. We have to change that whole greed as a mentality in our country. We really need to, to learn to share again, learn to be free and to, and to work hard. And I don't think it's democratic or republic, and I think it's human. And what are you hoping comes out of this movement, and how do you plan to continue to participate? I plan to participate. What I am seeing happening is that it's such an organic movement that it has to grow a brain. Everyone is saying, what do you want? And I feel eventually there will be legislative intentions for actually changing the laws, getting rid of the Citizens United decision, number one, most importantly, and uh, realizing corporations are not people. And we will, this movement will evolve to grow a brain and to, and to be able to move in that direction. That's what I hope comes out. And your friends, the people that you associate with, are they politically active? What, they haven't been, they but have, we're all here. Really? Yeah. So a lot of your friends yeah. are coming out for the very first time. Yes, and, and children, uh, kids. Uh, what, was you, what message would you send to the national media that is well, kind of still trying to figure out what this is about, surprisingly, but don't, doesn't they don't give people like you a voice, that's well, for sure. Well, the national media is controlled by the corporations, so there is no national media. The national media is part of the 1%. So they're not, I don't have any intention that they're going to give this organization or this movement a fair uh, play or fair airtime because they're they're the one percent. Mm -hmm. So I don't see. There's no message to give the one percent. Right. except how, we're here and we're going to stay here. Yeah, and how about the people? Because I, I've met a few on Facebook who are stereotyping the movement. You know the words they use. But what would you say to them? I think they're looking at, at the violent. There's always right. going to be that that small percentage of crazy. You know, and right. when you see crazy coming across the street. We just have to um, stay with the large majority who are going to be peaceful and going to get the word out and change our country and take our country back. And I want to see what your sign says. For banks, for people. Okay. Thank you so much. Joan Thank Shannon, you, small business owner. First time out. First time political, at least publicly yeah. out here. Yeah. And uh, you want taxes to be raised. I'm happy to have my taxes raised. Right. I'm happy to do that. Thank you, Rose, okay. for giving us a voice. Thank you.